iOS 6.1.1 brings bugs with major security issues. The HTC One brand becomes more evident than possible. And if any of you remember Migo, well, we've got a story to tell you. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm wearing red for no particular reason. This is Pocket Now Daily. Sadly, not everything is fun in games when it comes to iOS 6.1.1. You can still jailbreak your device, but the problem is that there is this old bug coming back to iOS where you can unlock your device without needing a password by going into the emergency dialer. Last time this happened, sadly, we had to wait for an iOS update for it to be fixed, and hopefully your phone will not be caught by somebody that has the skill to unlock it just out of the blue. Now let's move on to Android 4.2.2. For those Nexus 4 customers that have figured out the XDA tweak that allows you to unlock the LTE capabilities on those supported areas and people that are lucky enough to get it, well, the sad part is that this update sadly cancels your capabilities of using LTE. So before you upgrade your Nexus 4, be sure you know what you're doing. And for those of you waiting for the Galaxy Note 8 that's been teased for so long, well, Sammy is really not content. They want more. They recently had this podium in a trade show where they were showing off the Galaxy Note 10.1, and instead of using the 10.1 in the banner at the back, they were actually using a Galaxy Note 8. And it just makes you wonder what's taking Sammy so long to release the damn tablet. Just get it out there. These teasers are really becoming annoying. And for those of you wondering if the HTC M7 will be called the HTC One, well, if you watched the recent Celtic vs. Juventus game in Italian soccer, you pretty much noticed that HTC One was all over the banners. The biggest question is if it will be HTC One M7, because just think about HTC Two happening next year. But if you're still wondering when these or this device will be released, well, apparently March 8 is the leak date for Europe, and March 22nd is when it will reach all four U.S. carriers, or at least all three, because there were recent rumors that Verizon was not getting it because of the droid DNA, so we'll keep you posted. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, those of you that remember the Nokia N9 and its Mego operating system that was later ditched over Windows Phone, well, it seems that the company, or at least the employees that were in charge of the Mego project, decided to found their own company on their own, which is called Jola, and they have a new operating system that's based on Mego, which was definitely genius with all its swipe functionality that we now see on BlackBerry 10. The point being is that Michael Fisher spent some time with CIO Stefano Moscone explaining everything of why selfish why would you want to get this new operating system that will soon be launched it looks really beautiful really minimalistic but that leads me to the question of the day do you think that there is space for another operating system we've got iOS we've got Windows Phone we've got Android we've got Ubuntu coming soon and yes selfish is out there but we also know that WebOS didn't stand a chance so leave us a comment down below and if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching and stay tuned tomorrow for our top five reasons on why you should not jailbreak your iPhone. And aside from that, happy Valentine's Day.